Hello everyone, I'm Florian Zeller. Before being a director, I can say I am a writer. For years now I've been writing plays for the stage and screenplays, and in a way this is through writing that I came to cinema. So I know how central it is in the process of making a film. And, and to me what is beautiful about writing is the fact that this is an act, a lonely act of hope. I mean, you write your story and uh, you have that dream that somehow it will be read by a producer or an actor or a great director that would help it to, to come to life. And that's why I would say that before anything else, writers are dreamers. And I can imagine that being part of the blacklist uh, is such a meaningful and um, exciting step in the realization of that dream. And that's why I want to congratulate all the writers that made it onto that list. And I can't wait to, to discover your work. And I, and I wish the best of luck for all these stories to become great films. Thank you. Well, congratulations, Flori and Zella. That was kind of nice and cool to hear that message. This can be anybody doing these messages next year. So that's really, really exciting. Yeah, and anybody in this next segment, which is biopics or biopics, if you're fancy, however you like it. I like um, a little biopic. <laughs> I'm already excited by this first one off the title alone. The first one is Shania by Jessica Welsh. Eileen Edwards rises from an impoverished upbringing in rural Canada to transform into global 90s country pop star Shania Twain, only to face her greatest challenge yet, putting her life and career back together after losing her voice. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I recently listened to a podcast about Shania Twain and she and her best friend switched husbands. So I, I know that has to be in the movie. My ticket has already been purchased. My popcorn Listen. is popped. <laughs> Listen, and I live for a Shania Twain moment, honey. When that video, she came back out in the day, like it was, she's just like, she was so epic and huge and like, like where she was crossing over where people that don't traditionally listen to mm -hmm. country music were like, yo, don't get Shania Twain, you know? So I'm excited to kind of see and hear her story. And like now hearing like earn her friends switch husbands, there's <laughs> lots of things to dive into. So um, <laughs> I feel like the, the long one is leaving a couple of things out. So I'm like, to dive in. Like, I'm really excited. Yeah, that's our, no, put that stuff in the long line. That's what gets people <laughs> to see the movie. <laughs> so the next biopic, is The Villain by Andrew Ferguson, the completely outrageous and completely true story of Farmo bro Martin Shkreli from his meteoric rise as Wonder Kid hedge fund manager and pharmaceutical executive to his devastating fall involving crime, corruption, and the Wu-Tang Clan, which exposed the rotten core of the American healthcare system. First of all, Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. I had to get that out. <laughs> um, <laughs> And if I'm not mistaken, is this the one that purchased that one singular Wu Tang yes. album? And it was it created all of this like uproar because like he's called the villain, but many people probably called him the asshole, the <laughs> jackass, the fuckface, the whatever. You know, people were angry. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out because he's known for having that like kind of pointy rat face. I was like, what actor are we gonna get <laughs> <laughs> to be like? Unfortunately, sir, this is you. You will be playing this part. <laughs> dive in. <laughs> and next we have Michael Bay, the explosive biopic by Sean Tidwell. Packed with enough C4 to split an asteroid into, this tell-all Michael Bay origin story reveals the explosions that defined him, the fire that ignited his little heart, and the fate that sealed his Hollywood destiny. Now, I'm going to have to read this one. I don't know if Michael Bay is going to let you make this one, baby, but I need to read the script. I want to know all the secrets. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I love this log line. It's it's filled with all of the like, you know, colorful visual uh, lines in there about like asteroids and it's it's packed with, you know, C4 and like all those things that kind of like really relate to Michael Bay and like the things mm -hmm. that he's known for doing. Um, and I just love the little moment where it says ignited his little heart. <laughs> little heart, I want to know <laughs> about it. <laughs> And he's lived his dreams more than the average person can and ever will. Um, sad reality, guys. This is what we're facing in life. Um, <laughs> but Michael Bay is, is should be, uh, this, this, this sounds like a very amazing uh, uh, 
script and, and, and thing to dive into. Like, that would be yeah. Cool and I like that they made it sound exciting because sometimes someone who does something exciting for a living, you don't want the movie to be boring. So I like exactly. that they said, no, we're bringing the heat on this one. Yeah, that's why I love the log line so much. So this next one, I mean, Dennis Rodman's 48 Hours in Vegas by Jordan Van Dina, loosely based on the incredibly wild true story. Before game seven of the NBA finals, Dennis Rodman tells Phil Jackson he needs 48 hours in Vegas. What follows is a surreal adventure with his skittish assistant GM that involves a bull rodeo, parachuting out of a Ferrari, and building a friendship that neither one of them ever thought was possible, but will end up solving both of their problems. First of all, Dennis Rodman, 48 hours anywhere, I feel like. I'm here. Is a good story. But you go in Vegas? People are parachuting out of a Ferrari. Who do you think of that? Like, well, and this I is a very smart log line because when you say Dennis Rodman in Vegas, you're already picturing something. I'm already there. But when you add the skittish assistant GM and an unlikely friendship, baby, we got an odd couple. That's a classic listen, movie right there. Listen, on top of the loosely based, which means we got creative license to even go crazy <laughs> than Dennis Rodman already is. You know what I'm saying? So. Hello, sign me up for Dennis Rodman's 48 Hours in Vegas. <laughs> Jordan Bandina, you know how to sell a movie. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's dive into um, another break. Yeah, another special guest. Who could mm -hmm. it be? 